Are the cruise line rules, policies, and even the guidelines for behavior really that different from a land vacation? Not following these rules of conduct can have dire consequences for cruisers. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now you might be wondering, do people really need guidelines of how to behave on a cruise? Well, there are actually some rules, some important policies and even laws that are enforced on a cruise ship that might not be enforced at hotels or other land vacations. Now you may have heard some of these before. However, I wanted to make this video for two reasons. Firstly, because Carnival is in the news. They've recently sent out emails to guests that are booked on their cruise ships with reminders of the policies for guest behavior and some of the rules and policies that are on board. Now they are being very clear about what the rules are and as well what the consequences are if you do break them. Now, even though this is sent by Carnival, in reality, most other cruise lines have the same or at least very similar rules. And the second reason why I wanted to make this video is because I recently witnessed something that was on my last cruise, which was not a Carnival cruise, by the way, and it had to do with security on board and how they handled a situation. I was absolutely surprised at how things were handled and you might be too. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's talk about Carnival's guest advisory guidelines. This is the email that they have apparently been sending out to guests that are booked on their cruise. Now, every cruise line has, when you are booking a cruise, there's a code of conduct. There's a lot of fine print that we're all agreeing to when we do go on a cruise. And what it seems that Carnival is doing is making it very, very clear of what the rules are on their cruise ships and how they will be enforced. Personally, I think this is a good thing. Carnival did get a little bit of a bad rap and they obviously do wanna change that reputation. I want to make sure that everybody knows that on a Carnival cruise or on any cruise, I think, that it's going to be a fun and a safe vacation. Now, some of these rules of conduct are going to be common sense and others, well, I would bet you've actually probably seen them on cruises and sometimes we don't know how is the cruise line really dealing with them. So the first thing is knowing what beverages you're allowed to bring on a cruise. Now every cruise line does have a little bit of a different rule when it comes to the beverages on a cruise that you're allowed to bring on. However, almost all of them, including Carnival, have a rule that you're not allowed to bring any hard alcohol on board the cruise ship. So while you can bring a bottle of wine usually per person, you are not allowed to bring any hard alcohol and that includes sneaking it on board in bottles of mouthwash or shampoo or anything else. Now, what they point out is if they are found, they will be confiscated, they will be discarded, and there will be no compensation given. Now, the next one, I was surprised that they actually went there and they pointed this out, but this has to do with playing music in public areas. So I think that many of us have heard this rule before. I know I've mentioned it on my channel before, but you're not supposed to play music in public areas or even watch TV shows or I, maybe even YouTube videos, but basically don't watch anything that is personal or listen to anything personal loud. So obviously they point out that people can use earphones, but not to use any speakers in public areas. And of course this makes sense if you're listening to music in your own cabin, that doesn't disturb other people, but it really can affect the enjoyment of the space for other people if everybody had their own music playing. Now this next one I think has become a little bit more of a problem, well, at least recently. And this has to do with bringing illegal substances on board, in particular, marijuana. Now I have to say, I have heard more and more about people smelling this on cruise ships. I do have a bit of a problem with it. One, because oftentimes people are smoking this on their balcony. And if there's a rule for no smoking, well, part of that rule has to do not only with the smell of smoke and anything else, but also has to do with safety. So, so to me, that's very important when it comes to safety of others on a cruise ship. But they do point out that when it comes to that illegal substance in particular, that the cruise line does need to follow federal laws. So even if this is prescribed for medical purposes, even if this is legal at the port where people are actually embarking, it is not allowed on a cruise ship. And bringing this on board, smoking it on board can result in big consequences. 
Now this next one, I think for a lot of you that are watching, you're gonna say, this really is common sense. Why do they even need to send out this reminder? But I do think it is good. Sometimes common sense isn't that common, but basically one of those reminders is for parents to supervise their children. I think that is important all the time. Now in the hallways, not to speak loudly, not to scream, not to run in the hallways, to respect a cue or a line, so not to cut in line. Of course, nobody likes when that happens and just generally nice, polite behavior with your fellow cruisers. Now I have to say we cruise a lot and on the most part, we do not see this to be a problem, but it does happen on occasion. And I do think that that can happen on land vacations as well. Now I have one more before we talk about the consequences and I will share with you my own story of what I saw happen on a recent cruise when it came to how security dealt with the situation. No disruptive or unruly behavior. Now we've all seen those videos, well, I guess a few months ago or maybe a year ago of some of the fights that were happening on board. That is not acceptable anywhere. And the cruise line is making it very clear that they do not want that on cruise ships. And if there is that kind of behavior, that will absolutely not be tolerated and there are consequences, which by the way, have been updated several months ago. And my understanding is that they are being implemented. So what are the consequences for violating any of these things? Well, of course there's always confiscation of certain items, but there is also the potential of a fine of $500. If guests do need to be detained or disembarked, they will also be responsible for the cost of that, which I imagine could add up to a lot of money. Now they also point out something that perhaps not everybody knows, but it is that the captain and the officers on the cruise ship are the authority and they are responsible for making those decisions and implementing any consequences. Now I should add, they also mentioned that if you do see any of these things, if you have any of these concerns, you should report them to guest services so that they can be addressed right away. However, I am imagining you are probably wondering what does security really do? Is anybody really handling these situations? Well, I have to say, given the experience that I had on a recent cruise, I would say yes. And it is not always visible to everybody. It's not always reported on social media. I definitely didn't go and film the situation and report it on my recent cruise because I thought it was dealt with so well. Now I am talking about it in this video generally because I did want to give you an idea of how I think things are handled, at least how they were handled on the cruise ship that I was on. Now we were at one of the bars that was pretty crowded at night. People were having a good time. And obviously that does mean that sometimes people are drinking a lot. And sometimes when people are drinking a lot, sometimes their behavior, well, it isn't always that wonderful. In any case, there was a gentleman and he was being pretty rude to a couple of people that were nearby. Now, at first I thought that perhaps he was friends with these other people, but after a few minutes, it became obvious by the way that he was acting, that his behavior was very unwelcome by these other people. Now, just as I and a couple of other people were starting to have a little bit of a concern, I saw somebody walk over to the gentleman. At first I thought, is this maybe his friend or something like that? But then I realized that it was actually security. Now this person was dressed in a suit. However, he really blended in with the other cruise passengers. Now this person who I later came to realize was security, said something very quietly to the gentleman and then within a minute or less, walked with him out of the room. Now, as they walked just out of the room, I could see that an additional two security officers joined him and spoke to the man. They continued to talk for a few minutes before I saw somebody that was perhaps a family member or a friend that did go and join the conversation. Now, obviously I do not know what was said, but I was particularly impressed with how they defused the situation now, while the security was not obvious to me before I saw them intervene, after that, I began to notice that there were always security that were placed in different areas. And while they were very discreet, I could see that they were continuously watching and assessing what was going on. And that gentleman and his friend or family member did walk away with the security guard behind them. Now, by the way, if you've ever seen something like that, whether it was dealt with good or bad by security, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I know some people have asked, why is it that Carnival is sending out these reminders? I think that this is really just part of Carnival wanting to make sure that people really do know the rules, know the expectations before they get on a cruise. And let's face it this way, if something does happen, nobody can say 
that they weren't warned. Now, please let me know if you agree with the cruise line sending out these guest conduct reminders and if you think that they are going to be helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.